A couple of weeks ago, I got married, and today at work, I uh, showed around my photographs, uh, my wedding photographs, to the people that I work with. Uh, they were the usual, oh, doesn't she look lovely in her wedding dress, and you look like such a happy couple, um, you look really happy, um, that kind of thing. Does she have a sister? Uh, my wife is Asian, and it didn't once come up in conversation except for um, what's her culture like, um, that kind of thing. You, you know, curious, how do they celebrate weddings? Um, now, big deal, but about two years ago, I was dating a native Canadian woman, an Aboriginal woman, or I suppose a European might just call her a Red Indian. Um, when that got out, or it didn't really get out, I certainly wasn't trying to hide it, the, the, I won't say the same people, but the, in the same environment, the reaction was often, oh yeah, you sure you know what you're doing, buddy, you know, um, that sort of thing, or maybe she's one of the, you know, those good native people or whatever. Now, I would like to ask rhetorically, was there, was the reaction to my girlfriend of several years back racist? Because the same people that um, would have disapproved of me dating one Asian woman, i.e. a native Canadian, strongly and heartily and warmly approved of me marrying and another Asian woman. Was that racism? Well, I support the view that, yes, it is racism. Um, and f for that reason, um, i.e., uh, disliking someone because of what they are or what group they belong to or generalizing about them, is racism regardless of the actual race that they belong to, even assuming one accepts uh, the scientific validity of race. So yes, I believe that Islamophobia is racism. Now, there's a big hue and cry that one often hears from people, um, loosely the Pat Condell, uh, Heath Wilders um, group, um, who say, no, we are not racists, because Islam is not a race. We have nothing against black people, we have nothing against Asian people, we have nothing against whatever group of people you care to come up with. We are simply opposed to that religious ideology and all that it represents. Okay, well, if you want to use that kind of logic, then, well, unfortunately, the Nazis weren't racists. Because the six million Jewish people that they herded into the ovens in, uh, in Auschwitz and uh, Birkenau and places like that uh, were Caucasians just like they were. The supposed Untermensch subhuman Slavs are every bit as Aryan um, as the Germans are. The Roma, the gypsies that they uh, sought out and killed, were Caucasians as well. And the um, people that one associates uh, with the dominant culture in the mid-19th century in the Americas were not racists either, at least in their views of Italians, Irish, um, or other uh, undesirable European types, um, that one might as well throw in uh, Jews there as well, uh, because all of these groups were European uh, white people. They had something against the Irish, in fact they were quite willing to be violent uh, against them, but these people were not racists. They just hated the, these people because they belonged to the Irish culture. Um, to this day, one could say that a lot of people that we normally call racists are not racists. Let's say you're uh, a uh, rather right-wing, shall we say, Texan, who is strongly, um, has a strong dislike for Mexicans or Hispanics. Well. The Mexicans and the Hispanics are not a race of people. The Hispanics are run the full gamut of race, as a matter of fact. Uh, so if he dislikes Hispanics, then he's not really a racist. Uh, or the um, Russian skinhead who is beating the living daylights out of a uh, Georgian or Azeri uh, or Armenian um, immigrant or migrant uh, is not a racist because all these people are quite literally Caucasians. So, I don't buy that argument that Islamophobia is not racism. If it isn't racism, then real racism is precious rare in human history. 
Um, now, this is not to say that I'm just going to criticize the people uh, who use um, anti-Islamic language either. Because I said that if Islamophobia isn't racism, then anti-Semitism isn't racism. But if anti-Semitism is racism, then there's an awful lot of racist discourse within what one might call the general Islamic population. Whether we like it or not, um, things like um, the Jews control the media, or the Jews are duping the uh, um, they are duping Middle America into supporting Israel, um, or the Jews are just a natural uh, race of troublemakers, is drearily common. And when you sort of, well, I, sometimes, at least as often as one hears the flat denial that Islamophobia is racism, when you confront a, 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 a Muslim who speaks like this with the uh, accusation of, or at least the aspersion of anti-Semitism, He'll say, or he may say, well, that's silly. How could me, a Semite, be an anti-Semite? I'm a Semite. That's just as dishonest as the fellow who says that being Islamophobic is not racist. So, in my opinion, there's a bit of racism on both sides of this equation, and in order to sort of be able to actually deal with this phenomenon in a sane and even a civil matter, we have to come clean on this. I'm not saying that everyone should actually be a multicultural lover of every culture on earth. That's simply too much to ask from human beings. There's something, it might not be in our best nature, but there's something something human about not liking the fact that you, or, or at least assuming that your culture is under threat from someone else's. Now that is Again, it's not a noble sentiment, but it's a sentiment that's shared on both sides of this divide. Each side believes that the other is menacing its, uh, its own uh, traditional way of living. The Islamic world believes that the onslaught of Western openness, permissiveness, um, general culture is more than they can cope with, and the West in turn seems to feel that, or some feel that, uh, this onslaught of immigration and multiculturalism is more than they can cope with. There's nothing wrong with having those sorts of sentiments. Uh, it's perfectly human, and we should be able to talk about them. But we have to call a spade a spade. Disliking Jews or disliking Muslims is racism. Thank you.